this is the fourth video on the last lesson and in the very first video my question was who is actually responsible when teaching learning does not take place properly and in the third video towards the end of it we have found that M. Hamel had given answer to this question in a very simple and accurate and judicious way that for teaching learning to be fruitful to be smooth teachers students and guardians all the three components should come together should unite should coordinate and this applies to all situations this applies everywhere now uh, in the last video towards the end we found that mml had spoken in a very honest and clear way that uh, to to france that you are not the only one who is responsible for your failure to learn your own language i am responsible as a teacher your parents are responsible also now you see uh, his uh, the the things that mml did the narrator franz is narrating these things he is continuing then from one thing to another mml went on to talk of the french language saying that it was the most beautiful language in the world the clearest the most logical that we must guard it among uh, among us and never forget it because when a people are enslaved as long as they hold fast to their language it is as if they had the key to their prison then he opened a grammar and read uh, read us our lesson i was to i was amazed to see how well i understood it all the all he said was so easy so easy i think he too that uh, i i think i think too that i had never uh, never listened to listen so carefully and that he had never explained everything with so much patience it seemed almost as if the, the poor man wanted to give us all the all he knew before going away and to put it all into our heads at one stroke here is franz's observation franz's own uh, his uh, feedback on how he found him himel behaving and working and his activities on the day of the last lesson uh, then from one thing to another himel went on went on go on go on means to continue from one thing to another mml went on to talk of the french language mml was speaking about different things firstly he made it clear that students are not the only people who are responsible for their failure to learn their language teachers are responsible parents are responsible and now he uh, said some other things and then he said something about the french language and he see this in the question what was mml's view about the french language and see here mml has used three adjectives all the three adjectives are used in the superlative form remember this thing firstly he said it is the uh, french language saying that it was the most beautiful language in the world yes first thing about the french language that mml said is that it is the most beautiful language in the world mark this my point number 1 secondly he said the clearest it is the clearest language in the world and finally he said the most logical three adjectives mm -hmm. mml uses for the french language all the three are in the superlative degree the uh, most beautiful the clearest the most logical many students i find they make mistakes in answering this simple thing three things only the most beautiful the clearest and the most lang logical language in the world remember these three things and then he also said about the french language that we must guard it among us we means uh, the students all the people of uh, of france the french speaking people and mml also advised them that you have to guard your language yes as for, from the government from the ruling party what will happen is that they will promote their language the german language they even has uh, has compelled us to teach our children in the german language from tomorrow so our language we have to guard among ourselves in our own way we ca we cannot we want to get any government support the rulers will no more help us in learning our language they have to, they have even banned our language so it becomes our duty our responsibility to practice our language to guard our language to promote it and never forget it yes we have we are not to forget our language you have to guard it because when a people are enslaved as long as they hold fast to their language see the word enslave enslave is e n s l a v e enslave is the verb and it's 
is noun was slave. Slave is the noun. From slave, the verb is enslave. Enslave means to make someone your slave. When a people are enslaved, it means when a community of people are made slaves in the same way as they are now made sla slaves in, their, in, in these two districts of Alsace and Lorraine, it has become, it has gone into the hands of the Germans. So people of Alsace and Lorraine, they are now like slaves in the hand of the Prussians. So he says when a people are enslaved, when people are made into slaves, what should they do? As long as they hold fast to their language, hold fast to. Hold fast to means to remain, remain attached, to remain attached to. This means if you remain very intimate with your language, yes, the rulers have banned your language. They have compelled you to learn a different language which is not your own. But if you yourselves love your language, if you use your language, if you hold fast to your language, if you remain attached to your language, if you maintain intimacy with your language, you don't forget it, you practice it, you promote it, you use it, then what will happen is that it is as if they had the key to their prison. When a community of people, speakers of a particular, lang particular language, even if their language is banned, they are deprived of uh, uh, learning their language. Still, if they practice it themselves, then as if they have the key to their prison. If you are uh, imprisoned, if you are in a prison and you somehow get the key, then you have the chance of escaping, you have the chance of making yourself free. Somehow you can, uh, you can unlock the, 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 the gate and you can come out. So, as if they have the key to their prison, it means they have the means of making themselves free. They are now enslaved. They are now believing like slaves in the hand of the occupying nation. But if they continue loving their language, if they continue practicing and promoting their language, then there is in their hands the means of making them themselves free again. That is why he is putting emphasis on this point that you have to, you have to uh, remain attached to, to your language and not to forget it. Then he opened a grammar and read, read us our lesson. I was amazed to see how well I understood it. All he said seemed so easy, so easy. See the, the, the boy Franz, he was a very regular boy. Even today also he firstly thought of running away. Somehow he ultimately reached school. And he never loved the teacher, he never, never loved the book, the books were all nuisance. But today when he heard the announcement that this is the last French lesson, from tomorrow German will be taught and this man who has taught for long 40 years in this school is going to leave us tomorrow. These thoughts had made, had made a, a very drastic change in the mind of the, of the small boy. And he has started loving not only the teacher, even he has started loving his book and he has started loving everything that he did not love till a while ago. He said, uh, M. Himmel opened a grammar book and taught us our lesson. I was amazed, I was surprised, I, was, I, I wondered how well I understood it. It means he never understood any lesson well. It means he never paid attention to the lesson. But today, it is the last lesson, it is a very emotional and a very tragic situation. So he has concentrated on his, on his lesson fully and he is surprised that today I understand everything so well. All he said seemed so easy, so easy. He never found grammar so easy, he never found the topic so easy. But today whatever MML said, it seems that things are really very easy. Why? Because he is paying attention today, he is concentrating today. This is the one, one lesson for all of you that if you pay attention, if you feel that you want to learn something, if you do something wholeheartedly, then you find difficulty is gone. You enjoy it, you love it, things are not that difficult. But when you don't pay attention to it, you don't love a thing, you are not wholeheartedly working for, working for it, you find only things are difficult, things are disturbed, things are, dis are, are very disturbing. That is what happened to Franz earlier and that is the change in him today. I think too that I had never listened so carefully. Yes, he is telling the truth. Two things he is saying. Firstly, that yes, I think that I have never listened to the teacher in the class so carefully. Today I, have, I am paying my complete attention, my full attention. Another thing he says, he said that, that he had never explained everything with so much patience. The same is the case with the teacher. The student said, I never paid attention so much. Today I am paying attention. So I found the things really very easy, very interesting. And same is the case with the teacher. I think he never explained things with so much of patience, with so much of 
dedication and so much of interest. The same thing is, the teacher himself earlier said, not a single part, party to be blamed, not to blame the students only for, for their failure to learn their lessons properly. The student is also saying, the teacher seems to be teaching in a much better way today. And so far as I am, I am concerned as a student, I also, yes, I never paid much attention. Today I am paying attention. It seemed almost as if the poor man wanted to give us all he knew before going away. Poor man, I told it in the earlier video, poor does not mean only that you don't have money. Poor means someone who is unfortunate, who is unlucky. This poor man, it is said because this man had taught in this school for long 40 years. It means generations after generations he has taught and then what happened is that this man is going to leave the place, he is going to lose his job. Not only this, his attachment to the language, his attachment to the people will all be shattered. Long 40 years of his service has come to an end so suddenly, so abruptly, so without any, any, any knowledge, in a so, so tragic, in, a, in, a, in such a tragic way. So he is the poor man. Franz said, it seemed almost as if the poor man wanted to give us all he knew before going away. The way Amhemal was teaching and discussing things as if whatever knowledge he had, this is the last chance he wanted to give everything, transfer everything to us in, in, in today's class and to put it all into our heads at one stroke. One stroke means at one attempt. M. Hamel was so dedicated to today, he was so, con so, so involved, he was so much serious about teaching today that it seemed that the old man before going, he wanted to, as if he wanted to uh, transfer all his knowledge in his head into the heads of the other students at one stroke, forcefully. Just whatever he had in the way, uh, through Bluetooth you transfer files, the way Amhemel was teaching, the seriousness that he had today, it seemed as if he wanted to transfer all his knowledge from his head to the heads of the students. After the grammar, we had a lesson in writing. That day Amhemel had new copies for us, written in a beautiful round hand, Franz, Alsace, Franz, Alsace. They looked like little flags floating everywhere in the schoolroom, hung from the rod at the top of our desks. After the grammar, you see the man, he is teaching everything, all the topics he is discussing. Can you imagine the, the patience a man will have in such a situation? Anyone in a different situation would have become very emotional, would have become started crying and the people would have started uh, felicitating him and the way we would also do things that he is crying and felicitation and all emotional speeches or slogans and process, processions and demonstrations in, in front of the in front of offices but nothing this man was teaching he is teaching every lesson after grammar he had a lesson in writing we had a lesson in writing writing practice will be done now M. Hamel had brought new copies for the children and in the copies what was written France Alsace France Alsace what does this mean this means France, the country, and Alsace, this district, they are inseparable. German, you might have, Germany might have taken our, our, our land, they have, have occupied our land, but in our hearts, we will never think that Alsace can be separated from, from France. Alsace is an essential part of France. Alsace is inseparable in our mind, in our emotion, in our love. Alsace cannot be different from France. It is an essential part of France. France, Alsace, France, Alsace. This is what was written. They looked like little flags. The question may come, what looked like little, little flags? All the copies that MML had brought throughout the whole classroom, these copies were hung, hung from the rod at the top of our desks. At the top of our desks, there were rods and in all the rods, these copies, these pages were hung. See, the word hen. Hen, its past is hung, past participle is hung. Again, hang, the same hang, its past is hanged. Past participle is hanged. Hanged is when you let someone die by hanging. That is called that hang, hang, hanged, hanged. But when you just suspend something in this way, the way you suspend, you hang a cloth on a clip, on a hook, that kind of hanging is past and past participle are hung, hung. So, uh, those copies were hung uh, on, the, on the rod above the uh, desks and they all looked like little flags floating everywhere in the schoolroom. 
hung from the top, rod at the top of our desks. You ought to have seen how everyone at everyone set to work and how quiet it was. No talk, no sil no 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 sound. Pin drop, pin drop silence was there. You ought to have seen it means if you were there, anyone who was who would have been there would have seen it that all the people were busy working, writing, practicing writing, there was no talk, no, no sound. How quiet it was, it was very silent, it was very much calm and quiet. The only sound was the scratching of the pens over the paper. That was the time when possibly this the type of pens we are having now was not there. Earlier pens were made of some pieces of bamboo or other things and you have to take ink from ink pot and you have to get ink after after some some writing so some kind of scratching sound was there when you write with a pen on your paper some scratching sound was there the only sound in the classroom the francis was the scratching of the pens over the paper once some beetles flew in beetle is a kind of insect big in size so, uh, everybody was silent no movement no talk once some beetles Beetles flew in, but nobody paid any attention to them. If a beetle, if an insect big in size comes and people will, small children will become really very afraid. Oh, they will be afraid, but no. Today, people are so engrossed, so dedicated, so much uh, they are involved in, 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 in writing. They are so much touched. They are so much mentally down that beetle coming in, no one is afraid of it. No one is paying attention to it. People are in a, living in a different world. Their mind is somewhere else today. Once some beetles flew in, but nobody paid any attention to them, not even the littlest ones. Littlest ones means the small children, the small children who are in a very early class, the very primary class, who worked right on tracing their fish hooks. This is very important. This is about the small children in the classroom, those who are in the very primary class, that these small children, they were tracing, they who worked right on tracing their fish hook. Tracing their fish hook. Trace means to trace means to search something, search. Tracing their fish hook, fish hook you know, the tool, small tool with which you catch fishes. And in, in the French language there is a letter whose design is somewhat like a fish hook. And small children, they are just busy, they are, this, this letter is called, uh, this, is, this is some unsounded letter. And these small children, they were busy tracing their fushuk. It means tracing their fushuk means they were busy finding out that letter in their book. It means they were also busy in their writing activity. And no one paid attention even when the when beetles came in, even small children were not moved. They were not at all disturbed by its entry. And for them, even in, even the fish hooks are also German. Everything is sorry, everything is French. So they are uh, they are concerned more about their language more about their own identity on the roof of roof the pigeons cooed very low c double o coo is the sound made by different birds coo in, at the roof in the first floor on the roof of the roof of the pigeons p i g e o n s it is not pigeon it's pigeon the pronunciation is pigeon on the roof the pigeons cooed very low on the roof pigeon the bird it made a sound a low sound and I thought to myself, Francis, when the pigeon cooed, it made a low sound in the roof. I talked to myself, I said to myself, I thought to myself, will they make them sing in German, even the pigeons? By this they, he refers to the French, to the German people, the Prussians who have occupied their land. And when the pigeon is making a sound, a, a low sound, France is asking himself, will the German, they, will they compel these pigeons also to sing in the German language since the, uh, the Germans have imposed their language on us from tomorrow we cannot learn our language we have to learn the German language will they do the same thing to the birds also will they compel the birds to, 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 to sing in the German language and not 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 to ever uh, in sing in our language this question carries much significance one may uh, uh, feel that a small child's thought it is just something funny but in a different way if you think this question carries a lot of significance. Will they make them sing in German, even the pigeons? Will the German people compel the bard also to sing in the German language? Do birds sing in different languages the way we human beings speak in different languages? No. Then why this question? This we will come to know in the next video. That will be the last video. And today we are ending this fourth video. We will meet you in the next video, the fifth one. And with that we will end the lesson. Thank you very much for being with me.